Hey there, welcome to my channel. Let's discuss a very unique concept that can predict relationship breakups before they actually happen by up to 30%. Yes, before they happen. This was me. And this was a previous girlfriend of mine. And then the next girlfriend, and the one after that, and the one after that. I think you get the picture. No matter how much I changed this, this was always the result. However, I recently discovered a business practice used to predict failure before it actually happens. The concept is called a pre-mortem. What is a pre-mortem? Most of us have heard of a post-mortem, where we take a look at something that has failed or something that has died after it happens. Most notably, we see it in movies, doctors analyze a body, let's see what went wrong, how did this person pass away? Detectives analyze a crime scene, they work backwards and see how it happens. So they try and go back in time to see how something failed or died. In contrast, a pre-mortem is imagining that something has already failed. We accept it, we jump ahead, and then we work backwards identifying the reasons why it actually failed, not why it might have failed. We accept it failed, and then we work backwards and take a look at the breadcrumbs of why it actually didn't work out. The concept of a pre-mortem was coined by the applied psychologist Gary Klein. It suggests that before people embark on a project, that they should imagine that the scenario actually fails and then backtrack. Here's something very interesting. Research conducted in 1989 by the University of Colorado found that a pre-mortem or prospective hindsight increases the ability to correctly identify reasons for future outcomes by 30%. 30%. The strategy of using a pre-mortem has been published in Harvard Business Review and used in corporate business and even in NASA recently to predict failures before they happen because and lift off. In some parts of life, we cannot do a do-over. And so I started thinking that using this pre-mortem strategy, using this say when you meet someone, jump ahead and imagine this great relationship fails. What happened? Think about it. What happened to make it fail? Hypothetically speaking. And this strategy helps us overcome two biases. One, it gets us out of the way of our own ego. It humbles us to actually see where we typically screw up, how impulsive we might be, how quick-tempered, how we might play a big part in ruining things the same way. It might be not talking when we should talk. It might be talking too much. By imagining typical failure points up front in our own relationships, and the patterns that happen, we consider possible pitfalls, especially our own shortcomings. Pre-mortems address the human tendency to be overly optimistic, and then things don't work out. We overestimate great things happening and underestimate failures and setbacks, and the blind spot of our own behavior that we really should modify. Think about when we're offering advice to a good friend, how we jump forward and we're cold, mature, stoic, and calculated about avoiding all the pitfalls that this person could uh, get themselves into. But with ourselves, we're the person that needs advice. We're emotionally led. We're optimistic that everything's going to work out and the best case scenario is going to work out. So we tend to offer future hindsight to our friends pretty easily, but we can't take that advice ourselves. There was this frustrating way I went about dating in the past. I just turned up on autopilot, just dating the same way I'd always done before. Failed again. It felt like deja vu. I've been here before. I've gone through this before. The same words were spoken. I felt the same afterwards. Kick myself and then think, you know, cross my fingers, try it again. Let's hope it works out this time without any skill whatsoever. It was all complete luck. And 
here's a very important thing to consider, gentlemen, is that the long-term effect of this familiar autopilot failure, what it does is that you give up on yourself and on the things you want, but keep failing at. And look, relationship pre-mortems are only useful if you are honest with yourself. It's too easy to point the objective, stoic, cold, emotionless finger at other people and where they went wrong and how they didn't treat you right and how they didn't speak up when they should have, how they lied, how they were quiet during the dating phase. But we don't do it with ourselves because it's very shameful and there's a lot of guilt. But relationship pre-mortems, it is a great way to take yourself off the table when it comes to your relationship failures. Or at the very least, take them off the table a lot. In other words, you humble yourself honestly and openly and not just being honest afterwards again and again and, and feeling like you've been there before and hating yourself for it. Let me know what you think below. I'll catch you later. Bye.